Good evening, everyone. I'm Curtis Kane. This is Lisa Luana Morbach. We're here today to do my speech interview for UMUC, uh, July 12th, 2015. It's about 8.45. All right, so let's just go ahead and get started. All right, so we're just going to dive head first. Uh, where were you born? In Kaiserslautern, Germany. How long have you been here for? Um, 24 years. <laughs> <laughs> so you're 24 years old yeah. then. 24 years old then. Okay. Uh, what's your current job here in Germany? I'm a beauty and wellness therapist, so I work in a spa. What's the name of the spa? Total Beauty Spa. <laughs> How long have you been there for? Two and a half years I've been working there. Uh, what is your favorite thing to do? Oh, okay, so what do you do on a day-to-day -day basis there at the, at the um, spa? I do waxings, manicures, pedicures, massages, body scrubs, spray mm -hmm. tan, mm -hmm. facials. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think that's it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, what is your favorite part about the job at the I, spa? I like doing waxing, manicures, and pedicures the most because I just think it's where you can see most before and after, so you can really see what work you've done. It really gauges what you do. Okay, I get it. What is your least favorite part about the job? Grumpy customers. Okay. It's because they don't tip, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just you feel uncomfortable. Okay. Okay. Uh, so for people who don't know the people who don't know out there, we're currently pregnant. How exciting is that, right? Pretty exciting, huh? All right. So um, we haven't found out if it's a boy or girl yet. Uh, what do you want it to be, a boy or a girl? A healthy girl. <laughs> <laughs> healthy girl. So what about a healthy boy? That would be great. Too. <laughs> okay. So if we do have a boy, uh, what names do you like for boys? And you can do any, not just the one we've picked, but any name that you like for a boy. I like Avery. You like Avery? The, what about middle names? You like middle names for boys? Well, yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> what about a girl? Do you have a name picked out for a girl? Ava. Ava? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's nice. Um, okay, so do you want to do a home birth or do you want to do a hospital birth? I would like to do a home birth, but it's hard to find a midwife in Germany mm -hmm. since insurance is really um, expensive for them. You have to insure themselves because of the high risk that they have with their jobs. So mm -hmm. we decided to have a birth in the hospital. A traditional birth. Okay. Yeah. So um, do you want to do a natural birth or are you going to use medication? Maybe. I want to try having a natural birth. Is there any certain reason why or just because? Just why not try and why not? Can maybe do it. Okay. Okay. Why not, right? Have you ever lived outside of Germany before? I did. I lived in the States before and that was in New Hope, Pennsylvania. How long did you live there? One and a half years. Okay. So you was, was that a was that a vacation or was that a job? I was it was a job. I was an au pair, like a nanny. I okay. lived with a family and I took care of their kids. How did you get that job? Like how did you even find that? You look for an agency here or wherever you live mm -hmm. and then they ask you questions like how many hours you already babysit, what ages the kids were, and then they pick families that would suit you and then in the end you get to choose um, which family you want to go to. Did you have a lot of interviews? I did. How many did you think you have, like a roundabout number? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> a lot. So you said you picked that one family that you had in Pennsylvania. Did, was that the family you knew right away when you interviewed them, or was it between them and no, another family? it was between them and another family, and the other family was in Arlington. Oh, Virginia. Yes. Okay. Um, and the dad was German, the mom was American, and they really just wanted me to speak German to the kids, but since I wanted to have a whole different experience, um, I decided to stick with the other family. Did you travel much when you were in America or the United States, or did you just work the whole time? Um, I traveled to, but just along the East Coast. I was in Boston, New York City, Atlantic City, yeah. Oh. So you said you went to Boston, New York. Which is your favorite place to go to to visit? All over the states or just the East Coast? The, between Boston and New York City. <laughs> Boston. Okay. Definitely. Okay. Yeah. Is there any particular reason why, or just, just it's like a better city? Better. It was not as loud and dirty as New York City. Okay. <laughs> so, um, have you ever traveled anywhere in the world besides uh, U.S. and Germany? I I did. Besides all the countries, I 
what do you call that in England? Like the neighbor countries yeah. that I have in Germany? Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, I've also been in Honduras and in Peru. What was Honduras like? What were you there for, first of all? Let's start with there. What, um, what, what happened in Honduras? My grandpa lived there during that time because he works for third world countries and helps them develop. Okay. So did you go, were you helping him develop the area or were you just there to visit him? It's just really to visit him, but we also stayed with him for a day and so what, what his work was like. Okay. Um, have you traveled anywhere else besides, oh, you said Peru, right? Yeah. How, what was the difference between Peru and Honduras? Which one did you like better? I loved Peru. Did you? I did. I loved the people, the colors. I don't know, everything you see, the nature. It, it was great. Okay. So recently, back in December, we took a trip back to Colorado so I could int introduce you to my parents. So what would you think is better between Colorado and Pennsylvania? Colorado. Colorado by a long <laughs> shot, right? <laughs> All right. So uh, you've lived pretty much in a few places in the world. You've lived in Honduras, Peru, uh, Pennsylvania. You've been to Colorado, Germany. What place do you think is the best place to live? I, I like Germany. Is there any particular reason why? I think everything has more structure. Can I say that? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, more rules, which is nice, but I like the um, the convenience of the states. Okay. So that like shops are open most of the time, mm -hmm. all year round. Um, yeah, so, I mean, if you really need something, you can just get up and go. Okay, so there we go. Thank you for interviewing today. Thank sure. you guys for watching. Have a good day.